G'day YouTube, Jerry from Oz again. All right, part two of the swale. We've planted some trees, but we've hit them from the kangaroos. We've used a couple of strategies around the plants. One is to build a slightly raised dam edge to hold any rainfall that falls at the roots of the tree. And secondly, we've placed rocks in and around and above each of the plants. That's a particularly useful dry land strategy because the rocks get cold overnight and then as the wind comes through, typically that's warmer than the rocks, water will then condensate on the rocks and drip feed the plants. So built-in irrigation, dry land strategies. So we've got some bamboo, tipuana tipu, some more bamboo, ice cream bean, more bamboo, this one is a small leaf tamarind, some more bamboo, uh, tipuana tipu, bamboo, tipuana tipu, bamboo, ice cream bean, bamboo, tipuana tipu, and another bamboo. So that is the very first planting on the swale. So the expectation will be that any rainfall we get on the uphill side of the swale will soak in on that side. We've planted the trees on the uphill side rather than the downhill side just because there is no water coming through at this stage. But uh, yeah, that's what a planted out swale out in a dry land looks like.